piece part we're making in here, I'm making this out of one and five eighths brass. So on the main spindle, of course, using our parallel machining, I'm going to rough turn, finish turn, spot drill, and drill through, drill through all at the same time. Then while I'm doing this grooving operation, my subspindle, my turret mounted subspindle, is going to move to the back, spot drill and rotary broach this 10 millimeter hex. Then it's going to eject the part, come back to the main. We're going to probe this diameter to verify my size. I'm going to roll thread and then reset the head on this uh, 5 8 11 thread. Then I'm going to pull it to length and cut it off. We're ready to go. Yep, that looks good. Here we go. So we're turning and drilling simultaneously. That tote with different programs, different feed rates, all independently controlled. So I got two tools in the cut right now until my drill finishes up. Now it's going to move over. You see the turret mounted subspindle. We're going to drill, rotary broach. And now the main spindle is using constant surface footage to do the groove while the subspindle is working. We're going to eject the part, wash out the subspindle, wait for my groover to get done, stop the spindle and probe. And again, we can integrate the probe to do whatever you want to check. Do a roll thread. And that's right, reset that roll thread. And pick off, pick off my part, pull it to length. Okay.